In this Skill Builder video, we'll look at Photoshop CS6 and focus on the Brush Tool and its settings for adjusting its size, its softness or hardness, and its opacity. I have my foreground color set to purple, so that's the color I'm going to be painting with, and the Brush Tool is selected. By selecting the Brush Tool, I've displayed its options across the bar here. The main place where you can adjust the way your brush will look and behave is with the Preset Picker. If I click that here, I get a set of options. I can adjust the size of the brush by dragging this slider from very large, as you can see that's huge, make it somewhat smaller here, there we go, to very small, like so. It's just a little dot at this point. Now let me put it somewhere in the middle here so you can see what I'm doing. I can also adjust the hardness from 0 to 100 percent. I'm going to zoom in by pressing Control Plus, and here I am painting with a very hard brush. 100%. As you can see, there's little or no diffusion on the edges. Now I'll drag the slider here down closer to soft. Well, let me put it all the way at zero. And then come out here and draw right next to it. And you can see that I get a much softer line. Somewhere in the middle gives me this. So by adjusting the hardness from 100% and any point down to zero, I can adjust the way the paint is applied, very crisply and thick, or a softer diffused line. Now, let me undo my painting here. Another thing I can adjust, and let me reduce the size of my brush, is the opacity. If I drag this slider here, let's say down to 20% or so, and then I paint, I'm getting a very light stroke. When I click and paint again, as you can see wherever I overlap myself, I'm getting more color, just as would happen if I was painting with a real brush on paper or canvas. If I increase my opacity, I'm getting more paint. And again, it becomes more dense any place where I've overlapped myself. Let me undo. So the opacity slider going from 100 down to 1%, zero would be no paint at all. Here we are at 100%. 50% and all the way down to 1% where you can hardly see anything. Very little paint at all. Maybe 20% we can see what's happening. So we can adjust the size of the brush, its hardness or softness, choose a preset, and adjust the opacity. Another quick thing to do if you don't want to stop and go use the picker and you need to change the size of your brush Use the square brackets on the keyboard. The left bracket reduces the size of the brush. The right bracket increases it. 